Jay in Tampa, Florida. Never been to Tampa, Florida. Been Where have I been? I've been to Miami, Coconut Grove, Jacksonville, I think. I don't know. It doesn't matter. All right. Paul, please explain your design choices of power supply in the air lens. In the photos, it appears like it's a switch mode power supply as opposed to a linear power supply, which surprises me. So, thank you. Yeah, you're right. In the air lens, we chose a switch mode power supply. So let me, and, and you know, the easiest way to make a circuit sound great is to use a linear power supply. And there's a whole bunch of reasons for that. And if you have the space to put in a large power transformer, because part of a linear power supply, part of the requisite of it is you have to have an oversized transformer if you're going for high-end audio. If you want to really do something quality, you've got to have an oversized transformer, you've got to have the proper regulators, enough capacitance, all the good stuff inside in order to make that work, which if you look inside of our preamplifiers, our DACs, that's what you'll find. In the air lens, we wanted a smaller package, and we debated for a long time about what to use for the power supply. And because of that small package, there was no way we could put in a linear power supply that would do justice to that circuit. Just not enough room. So then we thought, well, what about a wall wart? Let's, let's take one of those big uh, linear power supplies. You can buy them. We could build one, could it in another little chassis. That would have raised the cost even higher. And so we thought, well, all right, let's look at a switch mode power supply because there are some great switch mode power supplies and I'm becoming more and more interested in them. We're even looking at those for future power amplifiers for PS Audio because there are some serious advantages. Full voltage regulation, if it's done right, you can, uh, you know, I'm not going to get off on a tangent about it, but there is some stuff you can do with a switch mode power supply. If you get the right kind and you do it right, that you simply can't pull off with a linear supply, at least not easily, or at least not practically speaking. But that's for another video. So the problems with using a switch mode power supply in a product like the air lens is the impedance at high frequencies. Because the air lens is running at very high frequencies, it's a, for those of you that don't know, the air lens is a network in and out, uh, and, and a galvanically isolated output to your DAC. So it's a streamer, and it's unusual in that you can connect pretty much anything into it, and it uses air as the gap so that there is no physical connection between the output and the input thus creating a very low noise, wonderful sounding device. So it's one of the best sounding streamers out there on the market. So back to our choice for the power supply, what we had to do in order to make that work is to use some very special capacitors on the output. So very low ESR, equivalent series resistance, but not just low ESR caps. You have to be very careful that the caps you use have a low ESR at the right frequency. So if you start looking at caps and specs, you'll see that you know the, the, the equivalent series resistance goes up, goes down, but you have to do it relative to frequency. So we spent a lot of time researching that, doing it by ear, plugging this one in, plugging that, finally found the right combination, and it sounds great. And I don't think we would have done any better with a big linear power supply. In fact, I, I know we wouldn't have, so that's, that's the whole story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later. Bye.